What's going on guys, it's Kenny with Kenny Made. Um, so today we have three new Ultimate Legends, Ray Lewis, Kellen Winslow, and the LTD is gonna be Ken Houston, all our 97s. Um, we have a new challenge so we can get one more Ultimate Legend uh, token. Uh, that I believe will put us at number eight or nine. Uh, so we're almost there till we get our free one. Um, don't forget, you also need to, uh, if you are doing these, uh, complete the NFL uh, Combine Daily Challenges. Today we have uh, three cone drills, shuttle run, and multiple catch drill. Um, perform five ball carry moves. That's simple. Uh, rush five times. Get 25 yards. That's it. It doesn't even matter. Um, I did it. I ran all 25 yards and then ran a couple more times and I was done. It's very simple. Multiple catch, just five catches. Doesn't matter, no yards, just little dumps. I just did met, um, drag routes and just hit my tight end repeatedly. It's very simple. Got them done within probably five minutes at that. Um, so that was that. Like I said, don't forget you also have the Ultimate Legend. Uh, this is release number six up here. And this is where we're going to get that next token. And like I said, it's Kellen Winslow and Ray Lewis. I got, I have the bundle. So let's go ahead. Let's get into some packs. Let's see what we pull. See what we can get. Um, normally, I'm pretty lucky on these. As you guys see, I definitely do need the coins. Um, I kind of put all my coins into getting that Deion Sanders yesterday. So now I only have 33,000 instead of, you know, over a million coins. Is what it is. Let's see what we can pull here. See if we get lucky. All right, so we get a elite, elite. Come on, what do we get? Another team of the week, elite. Another elite. 84. All right, gold and veteran. Yeah, veteran. 85. Brandon Marshall. Let's take 85, the 84, the 83, and the 84. Take all the higher elites. Legend. Matt, full 92 Gene Upshaw. All right. Come on, give me a big gold X. Okay, that's Outsider. 86. Okay, so we'll take Gene Upshaw and let's go ahead and take Troy Palomalo's 88. Um, not bad. I mean, is it worth the 180? You know, not really. Um, you got to get really lucky on them. That's definitely what I would say is you need to have some good luck when you're um, going for these cards uh, or these packs more, I should say. Like I said, I just, I only got an 80 in the first round. That's my best pull of this. So that is not great. So let's, we'll take all the higher golds. Uh, all right, we get an 88 Jordan Gross. Come on, give me a big X. Big X? Wait, there was no big X. All right, well, whatever. There's no big X, but we got a 93 Kellen Winslow there. Um, okay, that threw me off. I was definitely expecting a big X and didn't get one. And then we'll take the 87 uh, Dickerson. That definitely took me by surprise. I was not expecting that. Um, you guys saw, there's no big X. So either I'm crazy and I didn't see it and I will check the video. Um, and find out if I'm crazy. Uh, but I didn't see the big X. I just saw, I thought it was a low set piece. Um, all right, whatever. So let's see, we get a gold, power up gold, elite, elite. Um, let's go ahead and take Charles Clay as well. Second round, this is always where, you know, you're hoping for the real good stuff. I never know now. Now it has me so confused. You know, does a big X matter? All right, so not the best round. So we'll take Oliver Vernon and let's go with Bobby Wagner. These are gonna be the highest two elites out of that uh, set right there. So let's go ahead. We get three more packs, guys. So let's see what we can pull. I am hoping to at least get something decent on them. Um, after this, I'll run go into the auction block, uh, see if any of those cards are there, show you what their stats look like. And we'll go over all that. Um, like I said, no, small one. No, 88, not bad. 
We'll take the two, the only two elites that we got, and the two high silvers. Round number two, we're gonna get a 86 Dwight Freeney. Come on, give me something good. 86, 90 something. Come on, I need 90 or higher. Centennial. Randy Moss. I actually have his power up um, all the way, but I just did not have the coins to buy him. So I never actually got him. That's a good pull right there, guys. That is definitely the way it saves a pack for you. Okay, uh, let's go. Let's right there can just, you know, make or break an entire bundle just on one or two good pulls. So let's see what we get. Round one here, we get 76, 76. We get an elite. 81, Tyler Lockett, which is not bad. We get power up Brian Dawkins. Team of the week, Gardner Minshew. And Sean Williams, team of the week. All right, so let's go ahead. We'll take 79 to 81, and we'll take Minshew as well. Why not? You, you, gotta, you gotta love his mustache. I mean, that, that's why you take him, right? Big X. 94 Shannon Sharp. All right. These packs are heating up now. Uh, we'll take Dan Deardruff and Shannon Sharp, obviously. So, so far, they are actually doing really well. Uh, let's go ahead. We have one more pack and then we have our topper. Let's, can we end this with a nice pull? That's what it's going to come down to. Got Aaron Donald power up, another power up. Jesse Tuggle, Team of the Week, Elite, 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 Jonathan Williams, 78. And this is going to be the uh, Drew Lock 87 Combine. Okay. Von Bell, 75. Team of the Week, Kenyon, or Kyle Allen, 76. Last card, gold. All right, so we'll take the 87. We'll take the 78. Uh, and we'll take the 276s. Why not? Let's have, see if we can have a big second round here. 89, Damaris Thomas. 88, Ryan Waters. Big, big X. Oh, 87, Kurt Warner. And last card, flashback. 90, Honey Badger. All right, so we'll take the 89 and the 90. So, guys, let's see what we get out of this topper. See if it's anything good. This is normally, um, these are the best packs that, for me, where I had the best luck. Um. 92, however long, not the best one, but it is at least something decent. Um, let's go ahead. Oh, no. I don't want to get into any more packs. <laughs> let's go ahead, check out the auction block, see what, you know, everyone's stats are looking like. See how, you know, what we got going, you know, for these players today. I'm hoping that when they start introducing more of these, you know, you know, 98s, you know, 99s into the game here soon. That would be nice. Ah, let's see. So here's Winslow. Let's compare him. I am still rocking with George Kittle. So he's got he's one faster. Um, not definitely strength is down. Uh, catch is one less. Catching traffic is five more. Spec catch is five. He wins. Uh, short route running is great. Medium route running, not bad. And 67 run block. Not the best run blocker. So he, he's definitely somebody that you're going to want to you know, use for a different type of position. Uh, oh, all right. So we got Ray Lewis here. Let's see, how is he compared to Ryan Shazier? Too slower, but strength, I mean, is up by nine, tackle up by three, play rec up by three, block shedding is up by 11, power by 10, zone is down by 18. That is a huge drop for, you know, some zone. Uh, 97 tackling. I mean, this is definitely going to be a user card if you're going to get them. Uh, you're going to want to use them just because 
you know, 60 man. I mean, he doesn't have the best stats. He's going to be somebody that, you know, you use her to, you know, stuff the run mostly is what he, I would say he's going to be good for. Let's, and then we got Ken Houston. Let's go ahead and compare him to Troy. Whoa. Uh, so, Troy powered up. Uh, this is not showing any attribute uh, attributes uh, boost that he from his chemistries. So, they're both technically the same. 97s. Uh, Troy beats him in speed, excel, tackle, play, rack, pursuit, uh, zone, and power. I mean, zone, they're the same, and Ken Houston has a better man, but as a strong safety, rarely does he actually play man coverage. Uh, let's go ahead, let's get in here, let's check his catch. 81 catch, so that's the same as Troy, which is nice. Um, because Troy, I feel like he's, you know, like 10 feet tall half the time he's playing. He is everywhere on the field. Um... So, I love Troy. Uh, I will keep Troy all year long. He's been a great card. He's done a, anything I can ask and want out of a card. He definitely ha has it. Uh, hit power, 92. Look down there. Press is a 76. Uh, not bad. I mean... I gotta say, overall, it's not a bad card. It's just It's very similar to Troy. Just not as good, I would say. So, guys, um, appreciate you watching. Like I said, these are the new uh, Ultimate Legends today. Not bad. Um, definitely pretty decent cards. Um, I am hoping to get a new Christian Okoye here. Probably another week or two. Uh, that way I can upgrade that fullback position. So, guys, I appreciate you watching. I'll see you on the next video. Peace.